right. Hi. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Josie. Here we are. We're having our first virtual art and nature show. And we have as our special guest a painted turtle. And uh, this is one of the most prevalent per turtles on Black Island. Most of the ponds, the mud ponds, have at least one little painted turtle. They have, oops, scratching away when I do that. She has a beautiful face. If I hold it still, maybe you get a nice long look at her from different angles so that you can draw it. If you're seeing this wherever you are, notice how she can reach that head out of there. Look around, beautiful yellow stripes on her face and her neck. Her legs have red spots on them. A little beak of a nose. That's so for biting flies and other things. It will eat just about anything. Vegetation, insects, um, things, anything you can find in a pond, it will eat. You see these markings on its upper carapace? Those are called scutes. S-K-U-T-E-S. -E scutes. It's a great Scrabble word. If you happen to be spending time playing Scrabble. Her bottom... Her, the bottom is called the plastron. In the case of the painted turtle, it's this beautiful yellowish mm, salmon, tan, different colors. And when you do that, you can see that the upper carapace is connected to the bottom plastron by all shell. This is actually known, this is its body, its whole body. It doesn't have any bones in there has them in its legs. So in art and nature, whenever you're doing nature sketching, the best thing to do is just go out and um, do some quick sketching. Make notes. If you don't have the right colors, it doesn't matter. Even if you have just a pencil, you can always make notes. It says yellow lines on the side of the head, red spots on the leg. And, or you can say, I'm a modern artist. I'm gonna make this turtle purple. See it breathing there? In and out. Very leathery little. You can see why the turtlenecks are called turtlenecks. Mm -hmm. Because she can mm -hmm. pull that head right in there and fold it up like a turtleneck you might wear at home. That's great. Look at that. She's reptilian. Eyes. Little slitty eyes. I think she really wants to know what you are. One thing about it, you notice these claws. This is perfect for digging. So she probably came out to dig a, a nest in the sand. So they spend most of their life in a pond or around a pond. But this time of year, spring and early summer, they'll, they'll climb out, they'll go great distances. She'll dig a nest, a, a hole in the sandy, sandy earth and she'll back into that hole and she'll lay as a lot of eggs, maybe as many as 20 eggs. Then she'll cover them up and she'll go back to her pond. And the young usually overwinter in the nest and hatch in the spring, but sometimes, don't really know why, they hatch in the fall. So you can find baby painted turtles any time of year. Look at these back feet. They're wet. Oops, let's see if we can. He's, oops, she's not being right, cooperative. Right, there we go. Them. Yeah. She's webbing between the toes of the back feet. Let me see. This one seems to be a little more. Oh, I'll see if I can catch that. Okay. Ooh, very strong. Anyway. Damaged toe? No. I think it's just. It's more of them so Yeah, stuck. I know. It seems, sort of seems that way. Sometimes it is. Yeah, maybe there is missing a nail on the back. Um, hard to see on that. Yeah, it's hard uh, to see. But they do have webbed webbing between the oh, toes yeah. because what? they swim. They're like an amphibious duck. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cool to see them swimming underwater. You happen to be in a pond. A little short tail. Oh. Another little coloring on the tail. I know. Yeah. And, and in between, the skin in between. Oh, yeah, look at that. Let me see if I can get the, a little bit out of the. Right 
tip it, does it? Yeah, help? shake that up. Look at that. It's like racing stripes down <laughs> the skin of her back, right down to her leg. So people have been sketching in nature for for a long time. You think of the great explorers and w Charles Darwin and Wallace. They didn't have video cameras and Just even regular this. cameras. They had to make sketches to remember what they saw. And uh, especially if they were drawing flowers and plants, you have to do a quick sketch and make a lot of notes about what color it was because by the time you get that flower back to your lab, after the field season, it's not going to be the same color. So it's important in nature sketching to make notes about what you're seeing as well as draw what you're seeing. It's always important to date your work because things look different at different times of year. Just think, a maple, a maple leaf is going to be orange in October and green in May. So you've got to make those notes. Oh, there's the webbing. Can I add something? Yes, yeah. please do. Um, whenever any of us see something, we call Kim. And we say, Kim, we found a bird. Saw a bird. Where? What did it look like? What color were its feet? What color was its eye? What kind of bill did it have? And we realize that we're never paying close enough attention mm -hmm. to observation. And whether you are a botanist or not, observation is truly one of the things people did a lot better than they do now because as you say, we're just dependent on drinking in stuff that's fed to us and not drawing and looking. And I always say that um, you learn a lot about the animal when you have to look at it closely enough to draw it. Mm -hmm. If you didn't look at it closely enough to notice that it had webbed feet, you wouldn't know it had webbed feet. Oh, look. I'm going to turn it over for a second. It's, oh, okay. It's, it's heel as web marks. A red I'm marks. Sorry. Sorry. It's, I'm sorry. It's got like a little spot on it. A little side. spot. Oh. See that webbing? Yeah. And you would look at I love look like underneath. Little... Her neck is both orange sorry, and one. yellow. I love this. Is that carapace? Yeah, it's where the upper carapace meets the plastron. It's all horny it's bone. Everything. It's all part of the shell. Yeah. Horny bone. I don't like to hold her upside down yeah, for too she's long. She's like, wait, are you doing it? Thank you, So one good thing about the maybe doing it this way too is that people could also just pause it and get really in on a particular angle yeah. mm -hmm. no, I'll try to hold it in one position so if you're drawing out there in the viewing land I'm not moving it around on you <laughs> she's moving now Oop, in and out in and out look how she can pull her whole body in there which of course is for protection Ooh, she can reach around pretty fast she's scratching, scratching her, her neck, neck. <laughs> That is funny, isn't yeah, that? That was five there. fingers. Yeah. I'm gonna put her down for a second. You can see how fast she moves. I won't let her fall off the tip cap. I'm gonna pan out just so you can catch. Wow. She, she, she's gonna. <laughs> <Not always. laughs> Here, we'll go on the ground on the floor. Okay. That way, hopefully, you can catch her. Hey, Lily. You're supposed to demonstrate how fast you can go. Yeah. Now the turtle is going to go turtle speed. Hmm. How does a turtle shell grow, Kim? Well, the reason it has scutes is that those bony plates grow, expand. These are joints. So as it grows this way, the expansion is right along these little scute lines. So think of a baby skull. Mm -hmm. All right. So as it grows, this is the active area. So she can expand in all directions. She can go up and out. Mm 
And you said you thought she was 20 plus years old. So, Did I hear that? yes. Years? So usually I'll measure mm -hmm. a uh, turtle. Let's see how long she is. And I have a, uh, a book that, um, that will tell me, uh, it's an old science book. And it tells you, uh, because of scientists who did it before. And unfortunately, I didn't bring the book with me. But if it's, uh, I've okay. looked at it enough times, it's kind of hard on this one. And the sexing is just by size? Size. The, ma the females are bigger. Okay. Plus, the one that you find out roving is most likely a female because mm. she's the one that's come to lay eggs. So, if I remember correctly, when I measure ones that were six inches long, the whole length of its upper carapace, and this is a little less, that was about 20 years old and a female. Now, they also take a measurement of the plastron, what they call the ventral surface, which in this case is five, um, five and three quarters, or in the case of the uh, book that I use, 148 millimeters along the ventral surface. They also will sometimes Quite lady. powerful little feet. Yeah, you the, can hear her. Height. You hear that scrum? I can Oh, trying to get her height? I won't be able to do that. Yeah. Usually you would use calipers to do that. Okay. So, okay. But, but here, we'll put her down again. You can get a good view of this. We'll see. We'll put her face away from the... We'll put that in right on the zero mark. And you can look straight down. Oh, sorry. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, and that way we'll have the measurement at least so when I do get my book I can confirm how old it is. I don't and it, they don't seem to use that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give a little dose although they can bath. spend many a time outside not necessarily in the water but we'll give a little swim. And if you had one in your terrarium, aquarium I mean, have you ever? No, I don't have an aquarium big enough that I would keep one because you need, they need to have enough room to swim. Right, and what would they do? Right, well, you'd have to be catching them flies for beginners or worms. Mm -hmm. I have been known to feed them lettuce, oh. little pieces of hamburger. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can really see her hind feet there now. I don't know if, oh, they're, they're like little paddles, so she could swim really fast if she could. She had a lane to swim in. <laughs> and she does have webs. I couldn't quite see those. Yeah, it's hard to see. Okay, and just on the back, that? right? No, the, just the back toes are wet be oh, yeah. between the toes. Okay. Here, I'm going to pull her out. Sure, I'll back out. Okay, so then we have to check she back digs. in with the artist. Yeah, see how you look back here. She digs with her. Hind legs. Not she her digs front with legs. her. Well, she'll start with her front legs, but she'll do most of the digging with her hind legs. And look at the length of those picture. toes. Oh, I had a hard time trying to figure that out because she curls them up. Terribly. All right, Josie, what have you done here? Let's have a look. I've what been are... making notes every time Kim turns her over, and I've been trying to figure out colors because I don't have black, so I found a crayon, and I've been trying to get the design, which I haven't been able to do, but that's okay. And her eye intrigued me. And the date is the 8th. So a lot of times when you're doing sketching, you'll do the overall, and then you'll do what's called a detail, where you'll pick one small part of it and draw that very closely. And sometimes that helps <laughs> if you find something that... Um, if you have a dead body to study, <laughs> but you're too alive. <laughs> so I'm just drinking you in as well, best you, I can. I bet you have a nice detail of something in that sketchbook from another time. A wing. A wing. I think scale is also always interesting because oh, you yeah. can't tell. So that's why I put Kim's hand in there right away because it shows you, even though you hadn't measured it yet. I tried to say plastron and carapace are connected. Who knows what SW was for? Little tail. Web toes only in hind legs, scoops, expand, females are bigger. All the things I'm learning at the same time as drawing. 
And so this should be blacker. I'll just say dark blackish really brown. This might be a good oh boy, she's posing. I better go over there. It's inside her mouth. A tongue? She does have a tongue. Her mouth is really a little bit more like a beak. Her eye has a hooded kind of... Yeah. Does it rotate? Her, her eye... It's on a knob. Yeah, it's in... Its eye is very protected with bone. Mm -hmm. So it's... It looks like the eye is protruding, but it's really the housing, the bony part around the eye. Oh. Oh, okay, that's a better shot of the eye there. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. She's posing. Does she have nostrils? She does have tiny nostrils. I put her beak down. I'd be curious to see her does mouth open. Does she have open. an elbow bite, Charlotte? It looks like she does. A well, I don't really want to put my finger mm -hmm. there. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. And if I poked her with a pencil, that would be teasing it. I really yeah, don't, we don't want, want to do, do that. that. No. You always want to be respectful of the, of the subject. No laughing. Oh, it's hard not to laugh sometimes. I love to watch them breathe. No, I'm just Unless casual. they're panicking. Sorry, think about just the those dog. stripes are fabulous. And that little bit of orange from the uh, underneath coming through. And I love how the yellow just turns into red. Mm -hmm. That ombre. Yeah, or whatever look at it's that. Called. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm continuous line but transforms and then like the red on the on the front claws this is actually a very cooperative turtle I've had many turtles where they won't come out of their shell oh my goodness or they hardly they'll come out only to run wow Pam this is amazing yeah this is very fortuitous this one's been for quite a walk I found her up near Hull Pond yesterday. Oh my goodness, quite and a I, long time ago. Yeah, and so in a completely different part of the island, so I'll be yeah. taking her back. Take her back to Hull Pond. I'll That's take good. her back to her home. Actually, I'm not sure which pond. There's two ponds up there. And she was equidistant. You want a view that you haven't had? I'm just trying to see. I just wanted to get the, sort of the patterning of the shell. I think that's kind of hard to see when it's so dark. But, um, Let me move it where it's the lighter background. I'm catching it pretty well right, right now. Good. I think. If I roll it, does it? Are those geometric patterns? Those hexagons or something? They almost they're look like it. They don't seem no, like they're, they're like, like rectangles. Look. They're messy rectangles or or. A trapezoid, yeah. something. Yeah. They sort of mirror each other yes. on both sides, they but they're not necessarily like. And there's a middle. A consistent space. pattern. Right, there's a middle right down the yeah. mid zone. I'm sorry, I'm not catching. I'm looking at her and I'm missing this. Okay. Yeah. She's exhausted. She's very curious, so that's good. And her, her, look at her legs. The skin is very scaly, but it's all continuous. It's not really scaly, it's just leathery. Did you say how long the gestation was? Um, it, it can change. As I said, sometimes they hatch in the right away, the first fall, and sometimes the next spring. Oh, really? And I don't really know what makes it choose if it was a, a warm summer it got cold too quickly so it's kind of interesting the head and the tail both have a bits of yellow and then it kind of merges in and the body is really just red you know the, the markings the markings yeah the, the markings are red Maybe that's a signal that we'll come to an end.
Yeah. 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 Should we say goodbye to our little friend here? Yep. So. Okay. Thank you, Poser. Yeah. One last look at. Oh, look, Josie, look at that patterning you have there. That looks great. Let me, just try, let me just come around try. here and try to get a picture. <laughs> we'll end with the. the scoots. Take, scoots expand. We'll take our turtle. Okay. Our painted turtle and take her back to her Thank you, turtle. home port. Great. Thanks, Kim. Home port. And Josie. Whole yeah. time. Thank you, Charlotte. Hope it worked out.